What's up? Welcome back. We are the Tabletop Knights. Victor and Rowan here today. We're playing Whoa. Gloomhaven. Yeah. This is a game is- I've played by myself, so you'll notice the, the a few pieces have been used, but we've refreshed it. Um, so first time I'm playing with another person. So um, And my first time in the game. There yeah, you go. but you know a little bit about it. So. Yeah, I, um, I know of it. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah, so I'm playing as the Tinkerer. Uh, my name is Longfinger. Uh, my backstory is basically I'm good with machinery and everything, and I've helped the uh, citizens of Gloomhaven with um, inventions, I guess. Yeah. And the name Longfinger was a joke as a child that somebody was picking on me, <laughs> and it stuck. That's my my simple backstory. Yeah, um, I'm playing as the Cragheart. Uh, he's a bit of a bastard of his people. He Complete failed start, and my name is John Schist. Yeah, it's a so bit of a mineral theme in their society. You yeah, know? so he, that last name is like John Snow of Game of Thrones mm. or Smith, is yep. what you were yep. telling me, which is really yep. cool. Um, <laughs> Very also, generic rock. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've also got our um, main objectives, which we've decided to share with each other. You don't have to tell um, your co op partner what you're doing. Mm. Um, mine is the Battle Legend. So. Um, basically, I have to earn 15 ticks from completed battle, completed battle goals. So I'll get that eventually, but it'll be a long time before I complete that. Mm, and I've been chosen as an implement of the light. So I have to hunt down a necromancer, kill him, steal his axe, and then lay waste to seven living bones, living corpses, or living spirits. Very cool. exciting. Yeah, so the the second part of that objective will be easy mm. um, once you have the axe, but mm-hmm. getting it, I don't know where it is. So basically what we're going to have to do is that item could be in a chest. So in pre- almost every map there's mm. a chest. So we'll have to try to get every chest because you don't always get them. Mm. So if you don't get to that chest before the end of the scenario, you don't get that item. Oh. So mm. yeah, um, obviously if we make any mistakes, please point them out because Gloomhaven is quite a complex game. Yeah. There's a lot of things that I don't know about the game and that I've forgotten since I haven't played <laughs> uh, it for about eight months. Um, Rowan's first time playing it. We've played a quick test round. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of so- like a... Super complex hero quest. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Um, So at the moment, we're in Gloomhaven. We've been given an an objective by a witch named Jexera. She's given us some gold to um, go out and find um, one of her missing items that a bandit's carrying or something like that. So I'll quickly read... Cheeky kids um, in the hood. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So at the moment, we're in the city of Gloomhaven, which means we do a city event and it's drawn... These have been shuffled. All right. Uh, you are walking home late at night when you hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. You move to investigate and a shadowy figure bolts in the opposite um, opposite direction carrying an armful of vegetables. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do we A, give chase, thieves must be brought to justice, <laughs> or B, the thief had the right idea, grab some vegetables for yourself. Wait, sorry, how did that scenario start again? That was, so we're we walking just, home yeah, we're walking late home. at night no. and we hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. Wait, so do we even know he's a thief? Well, it's late at night, <laughs> so we assume. it's, And we hear suspicious There's a lot of sounds. assumption going on. <laughs> yeah, but the, the thing is, is we're about to head out on a mission, you know? Mm, so yeah. do we want to... I think we've got more important things to worry about than some point. But we have to choose option A or B. So do we take some vegetables for, for ourselves or do oh. we give chase? You know, you're right. We are heading out on an adventure and I think we could probably use some energy. Yeah, some food. So <laughs> yeah. we'll go option B. I agree with that. Yeah. So the thing is, is you've got to weigh up those options because uh, the more that we help Gloomhaven, the more, the better our reputation yeah. goes. But hopefully because it's nighttime, no yeah. one notices. So let's yeah, see what well, happens. We'll see how we go. <laughs> okay. So um, in an area cut off from civilization with no viable farmland, fresh vegetables are a rare commodity. The thief already made off with an armful, so what's the harm in taking some more? Um, when you get back to your room, you cook up a nice hearty soup and have a great meal. So we all start the scenario with Bless. Well, so I'm good. about to tell you what Bless is. <laughs> we'll be back in a second. All right, here we go. We are blessed. All right, so we're blessed. We've added the times two card into our deck and we've shuffled it. Uh, now it's time to head to the burrow going to get those Weasleys. <laughs> yeah, the Black Burrow. 
Um, so I'll read that there, but technically we're not there yet. We have to do a road event. Mm. So um, we have another choice to make, which yeah, can yeah. pretty much add, get rid of the blast yeah, pretty much. Man. All right. So as you walk down a dirt path, you see a hard-looking mercenary sitting in a patch of grass. He nods as you pass. Hey, friends, he says. There is something off about his tone, though. I don't suppose one of you might be willing to part with a stamina potion, would you? I'm headed towards Gloomhaven, but I've come such a long way and I'm not feeling too good about the stretch I have left. Um, uh, with the clank of his sword sheath against his armour and a loud groan, the man stands up. I'll pay you well for it. Um, so yeah, um, I think there's a bit of providence there because I do have a stamina potion. Yeah, so you can option A, sell the man a stamina potion or option B, politely decline and move quickly on your way. Yeah, he sounds like he's a bit hard done by. You want to help yeah, him out? Yeah, I'll give him a stamina okay, potion. Okay, so that means you can't use it in the yeah, next fine. scenario. Okay. Um, also, yeah, okay. All right, uh, pay one collective minor, uh, minor stamina potion, item number 13, which yeah. you have. Um, after some oddly tense negotiations, you're able to agree upon a price. With one hand firmly on his sword hilt, the man grabs a coin pouch with the other hand and extends it towards you. You exchange goods and continue on your journey without further incentive. So, we gain 10 collective gold, so 5 each. Uh, but since it's yours, you can have it. I'll give it to you. It's fine. Yeah, um, and then if you're one of those three classes, which you're not, unfortunately, um, you gain... Uh, oh, well. And 10 collective gold. Okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, you gain five, uh, 10. Cool. So now we're at the mission. Yeah, wheeling and dealing. Yeah. Um, but that was actually really good because often you'll start with um, cursed um, and whatnot. So one of the best perks you can get is um, ignore negative scenario effects, which is mm. the first thing I pretty much want to unlock because a lot of these road events will give you like poison yeah. or something. So, um, all right. Um, I'll read the thing. More reading. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm a bad reader. Uh, introduction. The hill is easy enough to find. A short journey past the new market gate and you see it jutting out the edge of the corpse wood, looking like a rat under a rug. Moving closer, you see a mound is formed from, the black, from a black earth. Its small, overgrown entrance presents a worn set of stone stairs leading down into the darkness. As you descend, you gratefully notice light emanating from below unfortunately the light is accompanied by the unmistakable stench of death you contemplate what kind of thieves would make their camp in such a horrid place as you reach mm. the bottom of the steps here you find your answer a rough group of cutthroats who don't seem to have taken very kindly to your sudden appearance um one in the black or one in the back marches matches sorry one in the <laughs> black matches the description of your quarry Take care of these unfortunates, he says, backing out of the room. You can vaguely make out his silhouette as he retreats down a hallway and through the door to his left. Well, it's not every day we get people stupid enough to hand deliver their valuables to us, grins one of the larger bandits, unsheathing a rusty blade. We'll be killing you now. Joke's on them. If you had any valuables, you probably wouldn't be down here in the first place. I don't know, I've got some nice boots. Shing! <laughs> yeah, and a regenerating uh, stamina potion. Yeah, Not <laughs> magical. So here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> um, so again, any mistakes makes please, please point them out. Uh, but read the comments if that mistake's already been pointed out yeah, to you. Don't gets, be that guy. It gets really annoying <laughs> reading the same uh, fix over and over again. Anyway, um, so I have a deck of 12 starting cards. Yeah, I've got 11. Uh, you want to go through the HP there? I have 8 health. Yeah, so we're starting on 10 here. Yeah, so we're both level 1. Obviously, yeah. we haven't completed the scenario yet. Um, but once we beat, beat Black Burrow, we will have some experience mm. points. But you need 45 to get to level 2, which is quite a bit. So it's a few, few scenarios. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go, shall we? So, we've entered this room. We've got three bandits. One's an elite. Yeah, one's an elite. So we've got one elite uh, bandit guard and two normal. So we've, uh, we're have we laying down them flat on the board so that you guys can see them. Usually they're on stands. And to indicate if it's an elite, we've got a little gold pin on him. Yeah, so, a bit of a placeholder there. But yeah, yeah. yeah it, it works for me. Yeah, it should, I think <laughs> that should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, uh, get, let's go. Yeah. I reckon I'm probably going to be pretty aggressive this first turn. 
Uh, are you going to be quick? Are you ch- going to try to be quick, or because oh. you know how quick I can, yeah. how <laughs> quick long finger can move? Yeah. Well, well, John's a bit stiff in the joints, so <laughs> he's not going to be leading the charge, so to speak. But he'll get there. Okay. Well, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going. I've got my initiative set. I'm going pretty quick, and I'm also going to be hopefully helping you as well, if that makes sense. Um. Yeah, I've got mine set, and I'm. Not too much in the way of support, but you're laying down the damage. You do the damage. I'm the one that supports, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Alrighty. their initiative is is, is 15. 15. Don't worry, I shuffled these before we started. <laughs> um, so they will do a shield of one and retaliate two, but yep. only melee damage. So I hope you're doing range <laughs> because yep. uh, uh-huh. uh, I'm... Uh, okay, I go initiative of 18. Yeah, what's mine there? 53. Okay. So I'll be going... So they've already gone. They've all got um, yeah. shields and whatnot. Um, I'm going to attack the elite for an attack of two. The range of three with poison. So I'm doing two damage. Minus one. This is exactly <laughs> what happened in the practice round. Yeah. So I'm doing no damage, but I do apply poison to him. And he's number six. So he is poison. So for now on, whenever we deal a damage to him, yep. an extra damage is all taken extra damage. Applied. Um, and then I will also use my ability, which is you and all adjacent allies attack one again, one which wouldn't have mattered for mine anyway. So yep. your damage is automatically gaining one. Yep. Righto. So adding my support here. Yep, this is the correct one. Yep. Um, adding um, one, one attack, attack to all my ranged attacks this round. Yep. So my ranged attack you with a range of three. So you're uh, going to burn this card? Yeah, I'm going to burn this okay. straight up. Um, uh, <clears throat> three damage, range of three, uh, and it kind of targets in a cone. Yeah, yeah. I'll so, be um, scanning all these, so you'll be seeing them on the screen yeah. now. Um, oh, and I get experience for every body hit, and I bump up the little wind element here. Yeah. You sure you want to put that there, not over there? Uh, no, it's good there. Because it's, it's, it's going to be hard for you to reach. No, <laughs> okay. the, the reach is fine. That's right. It's more central. All right, cool. Um, um, yep, so that's you've made that. So you're doing an attack of three, range of three, and you're also disarming all the enemies. So you know, we you can only hit two of uh, those. Yeah, I can yeah. only hit two, but that's... So fine. obviously go for the elite. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll put the cone through him, I would think, and get his mate behind him. Yep. All right, so uh, do your first bit yep. of damage. Oof. Oh, that's not yeah, a good one. Nothing. So you're doing... Uh, <laughs> Taking so, off two. Yeah, So, but you were already doing four. Yeah, doing four plus... No, plus this, so five minus yeah. two. Yeah, minus two, minus shield. Uh, plus poison. So, so <laughs> shield shield and poison cancel each other out on the elite, but he's still got a shield. So has one, so how much are you doing? Two. Should we start that again? I think All right, so you're doing one, two, uh, three, four, five, Sorry. six damage. Basically, because of the poison. Yeah, so three, six, four. But then five. the poison's cancelled out by one. Keep it, keep it simple. You're doing six damage. Yeah. Okay, so three. Yeah. Four, <laughs> five, six, six minus two for the shield. Yeah. Minus two for the card. Well, yeah. Is one damage. One. Oof. Or is that two? No, I think we're two, two there. Two damage. Two. Yeah. So, We'll get the hang yeah, of it. Six, trust six me. minus two minus two. Yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> so you're doing two damage. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. Still, yeah, that's an elite. Still not bad. He has he has nine health. Yeah. So two damage is not bad. <laughs> Could have been much better though. That's for sure. Hmm. Um, and then so do another card for the next enemy. Ah, oh, that's uh, <laughs> null, null attack. Yeah. So Making null good attack. Choices here. So that <laughs> is basically you only get one XP for that. Because uh, you've only t- you've only oh. hit once, I guess. So I, I wonder if it's targeted. Because technically, you did target. Yeah, it does him. just say targeted. Yeah. So do do two. You know what? I'll take XP. the XP. I think I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> that's a good that's a good um, decision there. So that card is permanently lost. Yes. So this card is lost. That card is discard. So not the best. And yeah, that one's out. Yeah. We'll just tuck it under there till the end of the scenario. The end of the yeah, scenario, it's out unless yeah. we. I have a card that can bring it back, or yeah. you have a card. Yeah. All right. So that wasn't the best turn, but um, yeah, probably the worst start <laughs> we could have had. Reshuffle that, and I'll reshuffle yeah. this. 
Yeah, so that was probably one of the worst first turns we could have possibly had. But one positive is we didn't take any damage. Mm. So we dealt damage, but we didn't take any, but you lost the card. So... Mm. Well... I still got 10. Yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. So you didn't take any damage there, but I'm going to have to step it up and try to do some damage. Um... Uh, but you've also you also did disarm to mm. um, the main guy, so disarm cannot attack. Remove at the end of next turn. So he, the main guy, can move, but he's not going to attack. So he can move towards you. I'm I'm doing I'm doing damage, yep, yep, yep. Um, but I'm also going to be trying to help you out a little bit as well. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Okay. So I am moving pretty quickly. Okay. Good. So is he, out of 15. So they're going to shield for one and attack. Um, what are you, move, uh, what, what are you nah, moving but out? I've got a 13. Okay, well, I'm moving at 47, so it doesn't really matter. Move last. Um, so you go first. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to burn my movement first. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to move... Yep. Uh, one, two, three. Three now. If it says four, do I have to move? No. Four? Yeah. It's up to you, man. It's your feet. Yeah. <laughs> and my attack is for three, and I target all adjacent enemies, and all adjacent allies suffer two damage. But this is another discard card. Wow, so you're burning, burning them quick. That's <laughs> it's uh that'll be lost forever. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Go for it, but, but I'm going to warn you, you don't want to do that again. No. Not for a no. while, okay? Yeah. Go for it though. No, what so so So, so yeah, sorry. Um, so we'll we'll do the dam- we'll do the whole turn first yeah. and then we'll discard at the end. Okay, so you're attacking at uh, attacking 3. Yep. Target all adjacent enemies. Target all enemies up to two hexes away, which you can't. Yeah, do. but that, that's an um, alternative. All adjacent allies suffer two damage, which you're not doing either. Okay, so um, you're doing three. Uh, you're doing four damage to him right now because of his poison. So do your yeah flip code. Got a plus one. So you, uh, you're doing three, four, five, five minus two. Yep. is three. So that puts him on five. Happy with that? Yep. Yeah. And. Next enemy, negative one. Mm. So you're doing three, four. No, this is on the regular. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you're doing three. Three. Uh, minus one. One. Minus, minus one. one. So one damage. <laughs> <laughs> one damage on what number is he? Four? Yep. You're banning cards for nothing! <laughs> At least oh, you get to keep the XP at the end of the turn, if uh, at the end of the scenario, if we lose. This kind of thing could be happening at a more critical time, anyway. So that's true. All right. Um, oh wait, no, 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 no. Do we take that back? They don't have shields yet. Well, yeah. Because you actually, going I thought first. that at the start of the round, then I. So we're adding yeah. an extra one damage to both. That's yep. it. That's the way yeah, to fix okay. it. So because they don't have shields, so yep. now they have shields, and but now they also attack with poison on you. So they don't move, but um, only one of them's going to get be able to attack because this one technically it's is disarmed, disarmed still. So I forgot to add that. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot to keep track yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. But they, they have. We just have to make sure we do it as it happens from yeah, now on. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. So now it's it's their turn. So number three, he can't attack. Number six, he can't attack. But he yeah, that's it. He shields up, um, and then number four will attack. So he does an attack. One. Yep, so negative one. So his normal attack would be two. So he's only doing an attack of one on you. Plus poison. Plus poison, yeah. So we're going to want to heal so, that poison off you. Yeah. So you can have a poison. And they meant to go into conditions area. So uh, you yeah. don't need that there. That can go. Yeah. We'll just keep that for later. So your poison. So we're going to want to heal you and get that poison off. Plus mm. you take one damage as well. Yep, that's true. you Yep. Down to nine. Yep. And now it is my turn. So I was going to shield you, but you went off and left me. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I'm just going to move up one. Yeah. I'm just going to move there. Just one. I'm um, using my bottom mobility. Then I'm going to go attack two at a range of three. So I'll attack the elite first. 
So I'm doing two. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're not going to make it to this first scenario. Okay, so mm. the elite doesn't take any damage. That's a good card though. Okay, so I'm doing four damage. Um, minus one for his shield, because I have the shield for this turn, is three. Yeah, happy yep. with that. So we're two rounds in, we haven't killed an enemy yet. But we've got damage on him. So he's not disarmed anymore, so he's going to be doing a bit of an attack this turn. So maybe we should focus... Yeah, we should focus all of our attacks on him because he's only got mm. one thing left. All right, I'm going pretty early like really early mm -hmm. if you stay still I can help you but I need to shuffle these back in as well oh we need to also shuffle all of our cards did you draw a no you didn't just me um if you stay still I can help you a little bit yep I have a feeling you know what my early means like where where around about I've been going yeah yeah there's definitely a sort of average speed for these cards yeah yeah I'm Middling sort of move. Okay, cool. That helps me. All right, you ready? Yep. You, you too. You got to shuffle these poison. better. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I feel like we can drop one or two. So they have this this exact same move. Yep. I I did the shuffle. I, did, yeah, I don't know yeah. what happened. All right. Um. Okay. I'm going an initiative seventeen. Yep. Uh, my best. That's forty six. Okay. Okay. So that, we can work with this. Okay. So. Um, they'll go first, so you're going to get quite a bit of damage done yeah. to here. Um, don't forget, you can discard a card to negate damage, yeah. um, but probably this early on, don't yeah. do that because I can heal you up quite a bit. I've got yeah, some good healing cards. Got some heals in the stack. Yeah, there. so yeah. I could heal you this turn, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to get as much damage as possible. All right, so they'll go first, so they'll all apply one shield. That's completely gone as well, by the way. Yep. Um, and uh, the uh, number four will attack you first. So the uh, not the elite. Good for us. Yeah. He's doing no damage. damage. But now the elite will attack for three, for two. So he does three damage because you're poisoned. Yep. So take okay. three. So down to six. That's all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll heal you. We're not at red alert yet. No, absolutely not. Um, and then, so now it's my turn and I'm going to heal two, uh, move two. Move right next to you. Heal one, affect all adjacent allies. So yeah, I don't right. actually heal one, even if I had a damage. It's just for allies, I'm pretty sure. So, no, no, you don't heal that. You heal the poison. Ah, true. Yep. yep. So, remove the status. Yeah. So, how much health do you have now? Six still. Yeah. But so it's no longer poisoned. Yeah. No longer poisoned. So, that's a <clears> good one. And then now I'm going to do an attack of two at a range of three and pull. Um, so, I'm going to attack the elite. So if I was on the tile that was right next to him, I'd gain disadvantage because I've got a space of one hex. I just have a normal, but then I'm going to use my um, eagle eye goggles yep. to um, gain advantage, which means I get to draw two cards and yep. pick the better. Yep. Thank yeah, God. That's, that's Thank a handy God time to use, use that. that. So <laughs> that'll actually kill him, but we'll make sure. So I'm doing two damage to him yep. um, plus uh, one. Plus he's poisoned. Yeah. So, so it's plus two. So it's four. Four minus two is two. Two. Five, and six. Not enough to beat him. That's all right. We'll get him. Yeah, so we'll just double check that. So two damage plus the poison is three is four. Minus two is two. So I'm doing five, six. Uh, so he's on eight. Eight damage. <laughs> God damn it. Um, just short. But also it pulls him towards me. Yep. So now he's there. But um, he'll uh, he'll die pretty easy. Yep. So I'd probably still not... I wouldn't focus on him yet because all my attacks are quite weak. Um, so it's, it is your turn yep. to go. But all his attacks are quite weak. So uh, all my attacks are quite weak. So if you can kill one of the normals, I can finish him off next turn. Um. Unless, much, unless you need to kill him. HP first. is four on. Two. Four, two. Um, What's the HP there? It's still six. six. So I'd need to do four to do him on doing. But don't well, forget, no, I do have but, a yeah. card that can target two as well. 
So it's up to you. If you want to yeah, get the, the well, kill, go for it. But otherwise... No, I, I would need to draw a plus two for that. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking just get the elite out of the way. Yeah, but then I can't kill anyone next turn, though. Yeah, that's all right. We can yeah. keep them in check. But if you... But, uh, that's fair enough, yeah. Yeah, the, this is my plan. Yeah. Is that I target the elite with my attack of three. Draw a plus one. So it's four. I think... We've well and truly established he's dead by now. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's a shame he's there because if you could move into the middle of them both. Yeah, to get yeah. two. I was thinking about that, but we'll just move with this for the moment. Okay, so um, so he's dead. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you want to move him off the board? Yep. All right, the reason I was trying to get you not to kill him is because my card is um, if I uh, kill okay. the first... Enemy. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'll reveal that now because I've failed it. So um, be the first to kill a monster during the scenario. Mm. So had he had not gotten that shield card, I would have killed him. Right. So <laughs> so this sort of denies um, Vic there, uh, Longfinger, uh, progress towards a trait, which but is... That's okay though. Yeah. I don't, It's good. So the thing is, is um, this battle legend objective that I'm doing will take yeah. ages to do. But I'll be a strong character by the end of then. Yeah. I don't mind using character and unlocking the levels because yeah. um, you yeah. get better cards, obviously. Um, so uh, he's dead and a coin is in his place. So I was trying to convince you to not attack him, <laughs> but still at the same time, I thought that still would have been a better strategy. So mm. uh, what are you doing now? So the next one is uh, I create two obstacles okay. in adjacent hexes. Yep. Now, my initial obstacles. thought was to put it there, but I forgot about this coin. Um, I imagine it would destroy the coin. Um, maybe you just can't place on top of a yeah. coin. Which don't destroy yeah. the coin. <laughs> yeah, you want the coin. <laughs> no, well, either. Well, of us I'll, can I'll just it. put it either side of them. Yeah, that's fine because we can still go through the door. So you can't block a door off if that makes yeah. sense. And we can still go through a door. All right, let me go. I'll yeah, be back in a sec, around. and I'll go get some obstacles. Cool. So, how many cards do you have left in your hand? Five. All right. So you're probably thinking about resting in the next turn or two. Um, yeah, before we go through the door, but mm. it, we probably won't kill these guys in the next turn. So um, if you don't move away from me, I can help you really well. Yep. Okay. Don't move yep. away from me. <laughs> I'm um, telling you <laughs> not to move away. Uh, I, won't, I, will, I won't be moving anyway. I'm going to try to go as slow as I can as well. So just make sure you attack four if you can. Cool. Card gets flipped. Hey, now we've got a card we haven't seen before. Right. So, um, they go on initiative 30. I'm going on 20. Okay, I decided to go quick. faster. I decided well, to go yeah, faster. You're ahead of me. But That's right. We're both ahead of them. I'm cool. on 29. So, I'll go first. Um, I will use my bottom ability first, just so I, uh, just because. So, one adjacent ally might, may recover all their discarded cards. So you ah. get them all back. So wow. it's saving you a, a little yeah, bit of a that's... few cards because I know you've been burning them. Yeah. Um, so this card is now in my lost pile, okay. but I gain two XP from doing that. That's what I meant. Don't move mm. away. <laughs> but also I attack one at a range of three and of course stun. So I'll do that to um, the... the uh, I'll do that to... Well, I've got a melee attack coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Who are you attacking for? Uh, yeah, but then I, I want to try to kill. I'll do it to three. I'll do it to three. You still got a chance of finishing him. Yeah, maybe. So I'm doing, but I'm only doing one attack. I'm doing none. Oh. <laughs> that, that's what that, oh my, my character, the Tinkerer, is very weak. Mm. Weak attack. Will that still stun him? Yeah, it still stuns him though. Cool. Um, your turn. Yep, so I've got my uh, melee attack. I'm surprised you don't want to heal yourself. Well. You could go yeah, heal that, that and would, loot that one. Would, that would be a good good idea, actually, wouldn't it? Because but um, I do have the opportunity to finish him now. That's true, but you could always heal and loot. Mm. That's up to you. It's up to you. you yeah, yeah I, you can, I can be the kill-stealing looter. 
<laughs> loot, looting, it, you know, I'll get loot eventually, you yeah. know, but you'll get more loot to make some more range. Yeah, we're you. about to enter a new room too, so I suppose the heal does make a bit of sense. We'll be quite prepared since yeah, you've... But this guy's stunned now, so if, I'm not sure well, if you have another heal card, so you could always heal next turn, kill this guy, heal yeah. next turn. No, it, it is a good time to use that. It's definitely okay. optimal. It gets me back up to 10 even. And also loot one. Oop. So that's yours. Throw it down a bit hard there. I don't think he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, the loot doesn't bother me yeah. as much as you think. Yeah, so um, not not a terribly eventful, eventful turn, but... No, but now it's, it's their turn yeah. to attack us. All right, so... Um, one of them stuns, so I can't do anything, and that guy won't move anyway, but he's only going to do an attack of one. Hey, hey. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So he's attacking. Yeah. He attacks for two, minus one. Yep. So he's attacking for one. So. Yep. Yep. So he hits you for one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was a good turn, though. I was able to help you out. Um, you stole my coin. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my gun. I was, yeah, it's true. Uh, cool. um, now I'm pretty much useless, to be honest. Um, I can't really do too much to help you out here. I can. I can do some stuff. So yeah. three is not doing anything because he's stunned. Unless, yeah. Yeah, he's not doing anything. No, I'm not moving terribly fast here. All right, so. um, flip 35. I'll go at 46. Oh, I'm at 46 as well. So. All right, so... Um, Move one, but the one of them stunned, so I only do it for one. Move one, attack at a range How of two. How is he stunned for? Uh, he uh, move at the end of next turn. Yeah, so at the end of this turn. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I stunned him last, I think. Yeah. 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 No. Well, I that, went that first. Was, that was still the previous. The turn. end of next turn. Yes. That's so what he's basically it stunned for two turns until yeah, the end of this turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, number four, he, he can't move because you've blocked him in and he, he attacks at a range of two. So he can um, attack, but I think because he's doing a ranged attack, he's at a disadvantage. Yeah, with, is that what the obstacle is causing? Yeah, Yeah. no, yeah. So basically um, when you do a ranged attack, so he's forced to do a ranged attack. Mm. And it's not that he only attacks at a ranged attack. Ah, I think okay. he's forced to do a ranged attack. Yeah. Um, so that when you're within one hex away, you're technically disadvantaged. So, oh, right. You're talking about the bike next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not the, yeah. Yep. So he'll do Number an four. attack, just a standard attack. So he's doing an attack of two. Yep. That's it. You get hit for two. Down to seven. Um, now it's my turn. Two, so that's just a standard yep. move of two, and then I'm going to use a standard move of an attack of two. So these yep. cards, I'm not actually using their abilities; I'm just using yep. their base core stuff. So I'll do an attack of two. Nothing. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> um, now it's your turn. See now, I'd forgotten that base attack. That's what I should have been doing instead of these big. Hits. Oh, that's, so you were just yeah, using? Yeah, I, I just. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Now you know. We might <laughs> we might fail this objective. We might fail this scenario and have to redo it. We're going to be playing through all of Gloomhaven, so yeah. that could. Oh, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that could happen. Try and get there. Um, but that's all right. We learn as we go. Um, yeah. So I'm going to use my attack of three. Yeah. You might as well just get an XP. And, did you get your yeah. XP for it last time? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so you're so doing attack of three. Three. So we'll draw a card here. Oh, negative two. So you do one, one damage. But he, what's his base shield? Does he doesn't he have, have a shield. He doesn't have a shield? No. Excellent. So another average <laughs> another average oh, attack. Well. That's it. Um, and do we have to reshuffle this, this deck too? No, that was before. I only have to I only have to shuffle my deck. Yeah. Oh, I need to move. Oh, I need to move. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting to finish him. Okay. I'm going very, very quick. Not quicker, not the quickest you've seen, but I'm going very quick. So I can do something mm. to help us out. Not you, but us. 
make a decision. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 50. That's good. I'm going at uh, 16. Yeah, 64. So you're going last. Okay, that's yep. all right. You've got that one there trapped in. He can't move. Mm. So, and he can't go through the door. Okay, so I'll do an attack of two. Base, just normal base move. So I'm using this 16 just as a base. God damn it! <laughs> I just shuffled this deck. <laughs> Set that aside for a round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be like that. This always happens. All right. Mm. And then what I'll do is I'll immo- immobilize target one adjacent enemy so we can't move. So they're not doing it yep. range attack. And then I'll move two. Yeah, maybe get away. <laughs> so I'll just go there just next to you. Yeah. Um, that's my turn. So I'll keep those cards there. That's my turn. But I've immobilized one. So he's immobilized to the end of this turn, I think. Um, cannot move, remove at the end of next turn. So that's the end of next turn. Yeah, so not this turn. The so, one after. But also, uh, he's no longer stunned. Yeah. But now he's immobilized. <laughs> so functionally the same. So basically, an effect lasts two turns almost. Mm. So I'll shuffle this, this while I'm here. Um, so, so I'm just going for my base. No, they're going next. Uh, true. Number four, well, number three is immobilized. Yeah, and so and number four will do just the base attack of two. Yeah. And he's rolled a... It's just for one. Just one. What, are you, what health are you on now? Now I'm back down to six now. So lucky so you... I think it was worth using that heal. It yeah. was. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. <laughs> for sure. I, look, I can do some turns and heal you yeah. a little. I'm about to take a long rest and get this back. And, you know, yeah. So um, that's my deck shuffled. Uh, now it's your turn. All right. Um, yep. Base attack of two to number four. And what are we drawing here? <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant. Wow, what no, well. unlucky. Um, yeah, that's unlucky. <laughs> All right, that's what's. Are you going to move away? I'd probably stay there, just keep him Yeah, I'm going to stay here. All right, yeah, shuffle that back in. <laughs> um, I'm, you're going to have to do some damage here because I'm about to take a long rest. Just want to get out of this room. See what's in the next one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, absolutely. We just need to make do do things a bit faster. All right, um, I'm resting this turn, so they're in your discard yep. pile now. Fifteen again. <laughs> That's right. Retali- um, they're not attacking you, but, but they, they will do retaliate. So well. you can always change it up and do that one if you want, and hit uh, number three because they're not going to be doing any mm. anything anyway. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And it works quite well with my um, bottom movement on the other card. So I'll add uh, one attack to all my range attacks this round. Yeah. So I'm attacking for four. On number three, I got a plus one. So you're doing five, five minus one because of the shield. Yep. That's enough to kill him. So he's on yep. four plus... Uh, on three plus four is Yeah, six. wrong guy. This guy. Yep. No, no, you're attacking four. So if I'm ranged attacking Oh no sorry three, yeah. My bad yeah. My bad yeah You are attacking three So that yeah. is My mum's like that Yeah it's enough to kill him Good point out Sorry um, So he's dead So he's not yep. coin he's out. Uh, That was a ranged attack So So that actually now... Worked out perfectly for <laughs> yeah. us For once Yeah Because um, They're not doing any attack They're just yep. shielding And retaliating I'll, I'll have to long rest Next round or... You got nothing You got no more cards I got one more just one? Yeah. Okay, so you, you have the long rest. Yeah. Right, this will get reshuffled. Thank God you got that plus one, otherwise you wouldn't have killed him. But now because I'm back, so end of my turn, I'm discarding this one card, but I get all my cards back, obviously apart from the one yep. that I... The guard is going at 30, and I'm going at 17. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move two. Let's go back to where I was, one and two. But then I heal one adjacent ally, so I'll heal you for one. Yep. So I moved seven. one and then back. Yep. And then I'll attack at a range of three for three damage. So this is my strongest attack. Yep. But usually I've been using this bottom ability, so I haven't yep. been doing it. So times two. So that's my Six. that's an, that's yep. not the blessing card either. That's uh, the okay. one that's in my deck. So I have to reshuffle. So I'm, he's, he's, he's dead. Well, there we go. Perfect that's a nice turnaround isn't ending. it ending because now you're about to wake up 
um, and uh, be ready to move. We're ready to go into the next room. The only negative is that I've lost these two cards and I'll quickly shuffle these back here. Okay,